Hi and welcome to um, Leslie Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how I made this waterfall card. This is part of my um, goodie bag as well. So this is one of my challenge makes which I've done to myself. And then I've just added something called piece away card on the back so you can write your message on there. And on the tab it just says ooh hello. Okay, Jane. So let's get started. Today I'm using the stamp set um, Picture Perfect um, from Stampin' Up, and I'm going to show you how I do my um, three layer stamping. This one's quite good because you've got a starfish and you've got a kingfisher, you've got some leaves as well, so you can all do different. Three step stamping on there. Yeah, you do. I have prepped some of it before. Um, I've got my little book there with all, all my numbers. Right, you do. First of all, I will give you the number, the dimensions. With a cardstock, you need to cut it four and a quarter by five and a half, and this is in Daffodil Delight. And I've done my, my back sheet as four by five and a quarter. I've done my designer series paper um, as four by five and a quarter and then you need four little squares which are two by two and four little squares which are three and a quarter sorry one and three quarters by one and three quarters then you need another little piece of card which is one inch by four and a quarter and then you need a long piece of cardstock which is two inches by nine and then you need to score it at two, two and three quarters, three and a half and at four and a quarter and then you just fold over the first one for the time being and then you need a little bit of ribbon and I've used Whisper White Cotton Ribbon. Okay, I have prepped some of them already, and uh, but I was just to save a little bit of time. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to stamp on the back, just to tie in the back with the front of the card. So you just lay your card down, and I'm using Tempting Turquoise, which is the same colour as my paper. And I have got all my three stamps already on blocks and this one's stuck to the other stamp. There you go. And the numbered one through to three. There you go. And on them, I don't know if you can see because of the sun, oh yeah, there's a little nodule and if you match them up you should get it perfect every time. So if you ink up your stamp then on a scratch piece of paper you want to ink off twice on the on the bottom one and I'm going to put this in the bottom and I'm going to have my little nodule over the top and I'm going to stamp. So it gives you your base layer which is very faint and then with number two I'm going to stamp it up and I'm just going to ink, ink this one up and then I'm just going to stamp this one off once and I'm going to line up, sorry if my head is in the way I'm going to line up my nodules and stamp and stamp down and that will give you your second layer and your stamp and then with your third piece and again with a nodule on the top I do apologise if my head's in the way line it up and because it's see-through you can just see where your outline is and then stamp down and then there's your flower all stamped down and right, so for the time being we can put the ink away put that to one side maybe you can put your flower stamps to one side as well now I've done these in all the bright colours on all four of them 
for the old tie-in and I've used real red, melon mambo, daffodil delight and pumpkin pie. There you go. So if you just glue this onto your two by two piece of card I mean you can just set them to one side and they'll be dry for when you do your next step Aren't you? so with your card base just lay your card down and then lay your paper your, your paper on top So it's totally out of the shot. Just take your backing paper off. And you can use any adhesive for this part. Make sure your wording is the correct way. And just carefully lay it on your card and then push it down. With your little strip, just put a little bit of double sided tape on either side. This is just to steady it for the time being. Take the backing off and then place it about two thirds of the way from the bottom. And push it down, making sure it's straight. There you go. Just put that to one side for the time being. With your long piece of card, if you fold over your, your score lines, increase them very well. Okay, the way I put my waterfall card together is if you start with your bottom layer and then work your way up, you know, you can put these flowers in any order you wish, it's so all the same. So I'm just going to take my double sided adhesive and I'm just going to put it up. You don't want it on the score line, you just want it underneath the score line. And then you just do that for all four all four images. Again, if you're doing this, you can do any images as long as they fit on that three one and three quarters by one and three quarters piece of paper. There you go, so you take your first back in and I just line it up just so it's just below the spat score line and I just make sure that all my flowers are in the same direction push them along and the overhang I just push them on there you go and because all my colours are in the bright collection, I know that they will all tie in with everybody, everything. And then with the last one, just put it on the top. There we go. There you go. So, there's your basis of your waterfall. Then you just push your waterfall down you know roughly where you want it like that and then I've got my one inch circle punch and I'm just going to place it halfway up 
I'm just going to take a little nodule out of there. There you check. So you just want to put water pour coal card back in so it just covers where you've just took, taken out your little nodule. And again with some and I put two pieces down, some people don't. Take your water pour, lift it up, and then put your double sided tape along your strip on the top and the bottom. There you go. And then pull that off. And then get your water pour card, making sure that it's all lined up to where you want it and then press it down and then when you pull it it will come up you should look a waterfall right Jay so I've got my little piercing mat here and I'm just going to pierce two little holes on either side for two two of my brads and I'm just going to make sure that I go through both the card and the paper and then I've got two tiny little brads again from stamping up I'm just going to put them in the back I'm just going to squeeze the back There you go, so they look like that, it just gives you that little bit more extra thing of you not coming off and then if you pull out the tab we can put our little saying on here and I've got it from the picture perfect and it's and it says you are just the nice, nicest and this will tie in again with the back of a card and the DSP and I'm just going to put that just there there we go I'm just going to leave it open for a little bit and then I'm going to take my backing paper and I'm going to put glue all the way over but I'm going to arch it on the bottom so I don't get it on the back there and I'm using the Tombow from Stampin' Up or any good PVA will do there you go so I've just let, sorry the light is terrible I've just left a little corner in there I'm just going to place that and that will cover your brads hopefully as well. There you go. So not only do you have your flower on your back also think and then push it back up. There you go. So and the last thing you need is to get a stapler and your cop and your ribbon just so they have something that they can hold on to when they pull I'm just going to pull that out and I'm just going to staple that onto the card I'm just going to staple it twice so I know it's well and truly on. There you go. So that is the waterfall card for today. So and again these will fit into your standard standard envelopes. There you go. 
just a different way of doing your cards as well. Okay. Two complete different styles as well. So you've got this one here with a gorgeous range. With your back in, and then you've got this one using all the bites from the most of the bites from the from stamping up. Okay, you. Thank you very much for watching, and um, I will see you again. Bye now.